Well, hey there, everybody. How y'all doing? Hope everybody's having a wonderful day or night. Welcome back to my channel. As always, I'm Deluxe. All right, let's do another freaking transport review because I love some freaking Transformers. Today, we'll be taking a look at the Legacy Evolution Comic Universe Bludgeon. This is Voyager Scale. Here's the box art. Always looks great. Love the box art. It looks really nice in him uh, in the alt mode. Here he is in his bot mode. And then on the back, 27 steps to transform Evil Fusion. Yeah, it looks good. He is a retool and a recolor of the Tarn version. And you already say that all the time. So very nice. All right, let's just get right to it. Before that, hit me up on likes, shares, prayers, and care bears. Hit that sub button and hit me up with some comments too as well. It really helps out the channel. It really helps out the algorithm, all the uh, you know, algorithm or whatever. It really does. If y'all do that, it really helps out. So I really appreciate that. So let's just get right to it. All right. All right, let's take a quick look at what he comes with. Instructions as always, Comic Universe Bludgeon. And once again, always very nice. Big pictures and all the stuff you can do. Awesome. Comes with one sword. Would have been cool if he came with two, but nicely painted silk. Got some nice sculpt work in there. Kind of like a jagged edge right there. And then kind of a brownish um, handle. And then he gets two of these blasters. And first you get this, which you can connect it with. Uh, just kind of this um, maroon and a... Uh, uh, plastic and then you get this which is nicely painted really like I like the translucent orange the silver is painted the orange is painted Ah, too many too many waffles uh, I know they'll make a uh, they did one for Tarn I know they'll make a little uh, gap filler in there but you get two of these and they're uh, a little different as far as the paint wise you know there's the silver you can tell and everything and then the orange but both of them painted and you can you know stick them on this right here whichever hole you want to pick it in giggity and there you go and that will go on the tank mode and so forth uh, so pretty cool all right and here is bludgeon in his alt mode and he is a recolor and some retooling uh definitely new head sculpt uh for him so there you go looks good i like it i love the tank mode love this orange silver purple really nicely painted all this on the translucent orange looks great Got these little, I don't know, uh, guns, I guess, if you want to call them. Uh, you can put um, uh, blast effects on there. I think you can. Uh, this green right here and this green up here is all painted, which is nice. And over the translucent orange, once again, I like that. Got the treads. They are painted, you know, gunmetal silver. That is nice. No wheels. Kind of kind of like these little nubs, <laughs> little nubby nubs. Kind of being cool. They would have got, uh, you know, some uh, wheels, but... You know, it's fine. Uh, this maroon right here is painted as well over this orange plastic. You can see the fist. Uh, there is going to be another, you know, they made one for Tarn, so I know they'll make one for him too as well to cover up those uh, hands. Uh, they kind of unsightly. Then you got the back here. Now you got the turret. It does turn you can all the way, 360 and everything. And you can also, you know, move these as well. Now it's not the tightest fit right down here, but you can move these up a little bit as well. So that's nice. And I think these are blast effect compatible as well and you got these uh holes right there that's cool and underneath you like that kind of thing all right now he does come with the sword and you can plug it anywhere you want to plug it i don't think it'll fit right there but mainly it's supposed to go right here you can put it up here on this hole uh, i put it over here on the you know uh, right there if you want to whatever your heart desires you know it's your transforming you do whatever you want so that's pretty cool i'll put it right here and there you go just wish I had wheels, but, you know, it's fine. But I like the tank mode. It looks really good. So there is Bludgeon. And speaking of Tarn, there he is next to Tarn. So pretty cool. Very nice. Look at the front. Nicely painted on the sides. Look good. That's good. And on the back. And there you go. Once again, I don't have the upgrade kit. I wish I did. I may get one. Especially filling those gaps from the guns and cover those hands. That'd be pretty cool. I think TF Safari may have one. Hopefully, but they're not sold out. But there you go. That is Tarn and Bludgeon with the little comparisons. And Wheelie, Magic Square Prowl, you got Red Alert, you got the uh, New Age Prime Mold, and then Dustbuster Jazz. Scale.
All right, folks, here is Bludgeon in his bot mode. I like the head sculpt. I wish that they give us a screaming face. It would give us another option, like another faceplate with just not a screaming one. Uh, but there you go. He can, you know, yell at you. Nice silver, red for the eyes and the mouth, and silver for the side of his cheeks and his uh, head crest. Looks really good. Nice head sculpt. I like that. Uh, you look down a little bit, look up quite a bit, which is good. Swivel and give you a little attitude as well. So very nice. And you got these little things right here, the little guns. You can go side to side if you want to. That's nice. Uh, you do got the 80s women working shoulder pads. You got three sets of treads. Uh, but you can go all the way up to there. So very nice. All the way around. You got a, eh, a little more than 90 degrees for the elbow bend, which is nice. Bicep swivel, which mine's really loose. It's on a mushroom peg. I could probably put some kiki in there. Uh, you do have a swivel of the hand, and they do open. So that is nice. Got some nice claws and everything. Nice chest, like I said, the front of the tank. I like that orange over the uh, translucent orange, some silver, that Decepticon symbol. Very nicely done there. You do have a waist swivel about to right there, and then this thing gets in the way, but I think that's more than enough than you need. You can van dam all day, every day. Kick up. I love that the hips go with it. That is nice. Kick up, kick back, thigh swivel. Nice green paint right here. Uh, no other paint, but you got a lot of a lot of paint on the chest on the chest, and I like that. Um, more than ninety degrees for the knee bend. This maroon is painted as well. You do have a tilt tilt up, tilt tilt down, and a nice, pretty good, decent rocker. So I like that. You got some waffles under there, but eh, nobody sees that really. And then the back cleans up really good. Nothing really. You got the green. All this green is painted over that translucent orange. Looks good. Um, no waffles, really, for uh, right here. A little bit right there, but that's not nothing big, anything like that. It's really good. All right, so you can put the sword in the hand, either hand you want, and that is good to go. Or you can have it put it in any port. You can store it right here, right here if you want to have that like that, and right here if you want to, and back here, which that would be a good place right here. Well, there you go. And also, you have his cannon, just like, you know, Tarn does. And you can put it on the arm right here, either side. Or you can do this. I think it's pretty cool if you move these down. And you take this part, and you can unpeg this. And I think if you go this way, maybe it's this way. Yeah, I think it's that way. Okay, and you can put these back on if you want. And you can have kind of like a shoulder oh, i guess you need to sorry one second so i need to, you need to go like this and then do that and you can plug this in here and you have shoulder cannons if you want to do that so that's an option so you got a couple options and that's always good for transformers so there you go that is bludgeon in his bot mode oh real quick i forgot to mention i know this you know i'm not going to use this it's probably stupid but you know you, know, you can connect the the guns and make a long one and have that but you know i just want to mention that i forgot to mention that during that but uh yeah i mean that's pretty stupid but you know if you want to do it you can do it and you know that's all that matters options are always great for transformers but yeah you can put the guns together and real quick there he is next to tarn like i said he does have a new head sculpt but mainly it's just you know a recolor you know different treads all that good stuff so there you go there's the legs and feet Love the chest on both of them, both really nicely painted. And then the backs, and it's a little different. That's pretty cool. All right, there you go. Comparisons with Tarn. All right, there's Leader Class, Shattered Glass, uh, Grimlock. You got Optimus Prime, Ironhide, Sideswipe, Brawn. You got uh, Core Class Wheelie and Dr. Woo Woo Woo, Ultra Magnus, and Tits McGee, Redgar. Scale. And Crappy Guns, Crappy Tool Paper, AAA Battery, Carmex, Care Bears, Kicker and Squeaks. More scale. All right, let's talk about some Legacy Evolution Bludgeon. Overall, he's fine. I think it better for the Tarn mold. It looks a whole lot better for Tarn. You know, it was made for Tarn. Um, I guess it's okay for a, you know, a repaint kind of thing going on. Um, I love the tank mode. Looks awesome. Transformation's easy. I uh, love the bot mode. Looks pretty good. Um, I love the head sculpt. I just wish that, you know, he has a screaming face. I kind of wish they would throw in another head sculpt or something, or, you know, another faceplate you could put on, and it wouldn't be such, a, you know, a screaming one. But 
Uh, that's just me. I uh, love the accessories. I love the sword. Looks good. I wish we got another sword. I know I'm hoping for a whole lot, but you know. Um, I love the guns and everything. That's really nice and nicely painted. The paint on this is really good. I love the orange over the translucent orange. That is really nice. You got some silver, some maroon, some green. So really good on the paint job. Once again, articulation on par with what Legacy and Evolution. You get everything that you mainly need. Um, the uh, materials feel you know pretty good. I, I'm going to have to put some Kiki because if you do put some Blast Effects, which they are, you can put Blast Effects on there. Um, the, the elbow and the shoulders are kind of weak, so I may, I'm going to have to probably put some Kiki on there to try to tighten them up a little bit. But uh, they are, you know, if they if you start to, you know, it will start to sag and start drooping everything. So just be wary of that so that, you know, the um, tolerances are kind of loose uh, so they can a little be built a little better for that. But um, overall, the materials look good. I didn't think I was going to break anything like that. Uh, so yeah, it's a good, you know, it's a good transformer. Um, but like I said, it's made for Tarn and it, it's a whole lot better for Tarn, I think. I think Bludgeon could have used something else, but Bludgeon maybe could have got his own mold. That would have been really cool too as well. Uh, but overall, it's nice. I like it, you know, and uh, I just wish it had a, a, you know, different face sculpt or something like that. But other than that, it looks good. All right, so I hope you like my review. Hit me up some likes, shares, prayers, and care bears. Hit that sub button for me if you don't mind. And also hit me in the comments, like I said earlier. It does really help. It really helps with the, uh, you know, the algorithm and all that stuff with YouTube. And I guess I'll see you in the next Transformer review. And as always, be good to yourself. Hell freaking Transformers and hell freaking Bludgeon and Legacy. Good night, folks. Well, hey there, everybody. If you made this far, I really appreciate that. I really do. Um, so, quick question. You know, I know we, you know, we're getting, you know, this is a pretender uh, from G1. I know we've getting some, you know, core class ones. I think they're really nice. You know, nice homages to the alts and the uh, bot modes and everything. But do y'all wish we would get pretender shells? I think it'd be pretty cool. You know, just like the original G1 pretenders and everything. And like I said, man, these tolerances are really, really loose. I'm definitely going to have to put some kiki up there on that um, uh, mushroom peg and some other things. But yeah. Other than that, it's not bad, not bad. But yeah, uh, hit me up in the comments. Tell me, would you like to have original G1 pretenders? I would love, I would love for third party to do it. Um, uh, but you know, you know, Hasbro wanted to start making a couple. Be pretty cool. So uh, yeah, um, slice and dice, baby, 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 baby. <laughs> Four time, you gotta love it. I said, baby, baby. <laughs>